Let's mark and send it on the radio 10 to 11 a.m. Let's mark and sing there They've got a morning show Every day I listen in We're gonna talk about what's going on in town You never know who's gonna come around Good morning, everybody, in uh, Montgomery County And wherever you're listening from We do have people outside all over the country Different people that uh, listen in and uh, we try and talk as slow as we can so you'll understand everything that we're saying. But uh, you're listening to the Mark and Cindy show being broadcast from downtown Conroe, Texas. Here we are. Yes. And um, speaking slow, Cindy. we appreciate Jared Starrett for his song, his theme song. And uh, he, he was in here today looking nothing like Jared Starrett. Oh, and he's wearing nothing. shorts. Like, and I'm he's wearing shorts. Though. It's like 27 degrees outside. He's okay. wearing shorts. And um, and so he, but he's going to be on our show. He'll be coming up on our show um, on Thursday, or did I get that wrong? You got that completely wrong. Good, because I, I was I hoping you correct me. I love how I look at me. you and I said it like you got to remember. On that Tuesday, he's going to come in. On that, t- yes, he did. 18th, and I said, I said, the oh, 18th. Richard, Richard, I will remember Tuesday the 18th. Now I've said it on the. Now it's going to be on the archive. I can go back and check it. If I forget, <laughs> Tuesday okay, now, 18th. Who's the other gentleman that might be there at some juncture? Some that he's playing. He's playing with a guy named uh, Springsteen. Yeah, but we're trying to keep that under wraps. Okay, I mean, never mind. He's not down. Might, no, okay. no, but he's playing at Dosi Do, and he's playing in the Justin Fulcher. Justin Fulcher. Why? Justin Fulcher. Fulcher? Oh, man. Was that a prison? Fulcher? No, but there That's was Folsom. a uh, Folsom. <laughs> bunch of them outside <laughs> my driveway. But it'll help Cynthia me. It'll help me remember it. Robinson, uh, uh, Cynthia Cochran. Louise yeah. Robinson. You know what Cochran. really irritates me other than so many things in life? And I oh. Way, but I'm leaving the house today and somebody from, whoa, I can hear. Let there be sound. Uh, Sorry about somebody that. Somebody from Son- uh, from Sonic. Somebody that went to Sonic got the foot long hot dog and all of this stuff threw the trash out of my driveway. On your driveway, they threw it. Yes, I mean, it's. I don't. I, anyway, it was might, the hot dog still? Well, intact? I don't know. And here's the the problem with that. Here I am getting ready to go to the radio station. Am I going to go out and get chili and mustard on my hand? No, it's still lying there, and I'm hoping the buzzers. That's, yeah, I thought my of buzzers, buzzers. I can send them over there for because of uh, the guy that's going to be with Jared, the uh, usher buzzard guy. Uh, anyway, <laughs> I can I thought send of my that. buzzers over to to yeah. clean up at that because, but they got a, a clean up on aisle uh, yeah. squirrel tree because I, I put a lot of stuff out for them. Fascinating today. show. Did you happen to see what I uh, <laughs> <laughs> what I put we're on critiquing. Facebook? You started it. I know. I know. Okay. Uh, what did you put on Facebook? I put on I the, we're going to talk about fascinating things, including uh, why your earlobes get bigger, your ears get bigger. And I had your to head research gets smaller, that. right? Uh, I would have uh, thought that. I didn't give it away, did I? Oh, oh no, no. That's, no, right. that's no, no. And look at my face. I, I'm getting bigger and bigger. I mean, my no, face. No, you're, you're all, you're shaved your beard off, and oh, the people yeah. on YouTube will know it. People listening on SoundCloud. Yeah. They'll notice that. Won't notice it, but, uh, but you, uh, you look. All shams. It's different. You know, I wasn't going to do Great. it. I, I'm in this. Uh, this is a, a personal plug. The uh, uh, play. <sighs> play this. <laughs> play. It's a hard word. It's coming I know on it. at the Owens Theater in the uh, latter part of March. Uh, I'm playing. Uh, it's Inherit the Wind. I'm playing drumming. And, and the director said, hey, uh, what do you think without the beard? Are you... Is it grown on you or something, whatever? And I said, I, I don't know. They took pictures last night, and I shaved my beard. And here is where the selfish part comes in from Mark mm-hmm. Hader. And this irritates the willies out of me, about oh. me. I'm in there. I've shaved my beard. Brad Meyer, I mean, I, I went on. I mean, I had a big deal with him uh, reviewing restaurants and all forever. He shows up, and we're talking. He never mentions anything about the beard. Nobody says anything about the beard. And, I'm, and it hits me. Nobody looks at me. Nobody cares. And that should be a good thing. And so I said... You know, has anybody noticed I shaved my beard? And uh, Joey Lamont, who's been in everything at the Players and at the Crichton, 36 years, and he's a young-looking guy, he says, yeah, I shaved mine too. And I looked. And you didn't <laughs> notice didn't his. Know sure enough, well, Joey shaved his beard, and here I am, you know, whining. Nobody noticed. But I noticed. And I know you did, Cindy. I said You're something. You're one of few. Did, you uh, didn't say anything about the Band-Aid on my nose. I did that intentionally. Oh, I thought that was your face. That's hardly, <laughs> it's no. hardly noticeable. You did I it very well. I now have, this is getting so much, this cold sore is getting so much bigger now, and I don't know what to do, but it's, but I had to, it's hard 
the way it the way it is to do a band there's not a band aid yeah. for it. I'm doing the math though. You were at a concert on Saturday. Is that what it was? And you got I, to meet the band? I had it then. Oh, it's cool. I had it. It's I already cool. had it. Was a joke. It. I was trying to leave. I know you were trying. What you were trying, trying to leave, leave too. <laughs> I know. I know. Did you realize I shook your hand today too? Okay. So anyway, it is. Um, it's there, and so I, I made my own custom-made band-aid it to looks, cover it up to keep the gagifying, you know, yeah, effect. So anyway, no. that's. Um, I thought that was sweet of me. You know, Cindy, I read something about cold sores medication that's not a cold sore but it's uh, something that you could apply this ointment on uh-huh. and i read it and they say it doesn't work so forget i said it okay forget i even brought it up that's what i heard from er people too they said don't really no, no, it's no. not gonna work it just has to go away and don't touch yeah, it don't touch it that's <sighs> ridiculous you remember no. your little kid like don't squeeze don't do that no. don't don't you do well that's doesn't See, work you've got a lot of good features me it's i got no good features and it's my nose if there's something on my nose immediately the oh my gosh mark nose oh my word <laughs> it's hard because you can't hardly notice it mark. And the oh, my first word. thing you want to say is uh like rod rod brady the worship leader had to wear this yeah. white patch you know like uh could believe it yeah, um, oh i'm sorry rod it was barely it very was good. yeah and, and you and you see me you're like hey rod the first, you got to say, what happened to your nose? Yeah. It's, something's wrong with your nose. You know, but I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, we are supposed to be talking about, all week, the Beatles. Oh, the Beatles. Yes, we're supposed to be talking about that. But first, before anything else, you and I, mm-hmm. because of our age, oh, yeah. certainly remember uh, Shirley Temple. Oh, and my word. I know probably Richard drank those oh, when he, he was yeah. younger but there's no actor but actor. shirley temple was amazing and um now did you like her when she got older and did no her acting you oh did, my word no i lost it but Bless she tried to hold that heart. yeah she tried to hold that age thing as long as she could and then she just had to yeah. break out and do some older you know roles i imagine it's common knowledge now that she was first in line to play in uh gone with yes. the wind <laughs> you know, she was supposed to <laughs> be wizard of oz. no wizard of oz yeah, yeah. uh and she was on contract with somebody else. But anyway, and one thing, it's probably good she didn't. I know she'd have done a great job, but sure. uh, they wanted her as Toto. And <laughs> she, she is one of few not. who could have pulled that off. They well, she was not. a great actress. No. no, they meant for her to be Dorothy. But the, no one could have sang Over the Rainbow no, like Judy no Garland. Kidding. So you had, to, you had to know that that happened for a reason. Yeah. But um, she started her career in 19... 19- 33 she was like three years old that, that she started and then she was signed um to fox hill it was a, a company then she was signed to for 150 dollars a week oh my word. 150 a week that's but that, the depression times and after one year though she went to a thousand dollars a week because of her you know they had to they because of her draw yeah. she was signed to a seven-year contract but they were able to raise it to a thousand a week and her mother was a real stage mother Ugh. and uh they're the worst kind i know i don't know anything about that but um but she was and uh and when she had to cry she, a lot of times shirley temple had to cry mm-hmm. in uh in the movies and they asked her what what do you do to help you to help you cry she says i think about my grandma dying and um it wasn't her mom it was her grandma if her grandma died she would be so upset so that would help her bring tears to her oh. eyes and cry during the the scenes this was where she way had back. to cry yes yeah. when she was a little kid because yeah. she how do you make a little child cry and back then, they didn't have anybody on the set watching over the children yeah. and making sure that somebody wasn't being mean to them. And some some have said they got they got so upset because of what the way somebody would talk to them. The director would come up and be yeah. really mean to them, and so they start crying. They go like, "Okay, and go." You know, uh, this one child actor, and I, and I make stuff up. This one I'm not making up. Uh, mm-hmm. Child actor, and I don't even remember who it was, but he had to cry, and it might have been in that the uh, movie about the deer. I don't remember. Anyway, the kid had to cry, and uh-huh. uh, he wasn't doing it. And the director, I don't even remember who it was, says, Son, if you don't cry this time, I'm going to take your dog over there out, and I'm going to shoot him in the back. It wasn't the and, kid no And the yeller. parents are there. No, I don't think so. The parents are there, and they're letting it go because they're parents. And so, man, he's really crying oh. to save his dog. God, that was beautiful. Was How do you do really that? Good. Yeah. How do you do that? Well, the, the money probably days. is... Yeah is the deal i would think the money thing yeah i think that's it Shirley but anyway Temple's so gone, it's sad sad it's really sad and and uh we'll be talking about i mean they'll be talking about it on the news all all and you're seeing all the clips all day so uh 
You will reminisce about By that. Way, I think you and I, as we're going to this break, during the break, you can only catch this on the YouTube version. Uh, Cindy and I are going to do the tap dance to the Good Ship Lollipop from for Shirley Temple's uh, benefit. But I, good, I have this side ship. of the table, or are you going to that no, side? I'm going to be, we'll be right in front of the camera, right okay. over there. Okay, all right. Oh, I like this. The Beatles. All week, the Beatles. It's the Beatles. Hi, I'm Joyce with The Corner Pub in downtown Conroe. We're located at the corner of Simonton and North Main, just across the street from the courthouse. The week starts off Monday with Open Mic, hosted by Alan, and Tuesday night's Open Mic, hosted by Jeremy Bankhead. And on Thursday evening, McFarland Jams. There's nightly drink specials available every night, all night. And don't forget, live entertainment every weekend. To see a full list of events, visit our website at thecornerpubinconroe.com So come join us at the Corner Pub where the deli is open late. Tune in at 3 o'clock every Wednesday for Aperture and Shutter Speed with me, Tom Moore of TR Moore Photos and me, Dick. If you are an amateur or expert, or if you haven't ever picked up an SLR camera before, Aperture and Shutter Speed is a show for anyone who loves photography and film. Join the conversation with us by calling in or emailing us your questions. If you want to know what's coming up on Aperture and Shutter Speed, just look up our show page on IRLoneStar.com or look us up on Facebook. Join us every Wednesday at 3 p.m. for Aperture and Shutter Speed, and remember... Take your lens cap off. This is Angela Storseth with the Greater Conroe, Lake Conroe Area Chamber of Commerce. Make sure to tune in on Lone Star Internet Radio on February 13th after the Mark and Cindy Show for the Chamber Candidate Forum. Starting at 11, you will be hearing the forum featuring candidates running for Montgomery County Judge, County Commissioner Precincts 2 and 4, Justice of the Peace Precincts 1 and 3. For more information about the forum or the candidates, visit our calendar at www.conroe.org. So don't miss the live broadcast on February 13th at 11 a.m. on Lone Star Internet Radio. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Mark and Cindy Show. Uh, Cindy, before we get started back on these Beatles and all, I'd like to plug Brownlee's Jewelers across the street down the uh, way. I went in there yesterday with five watches to have the batteries replaced. And I've been into jewelry stores before where all I want is a battery replaced. And it's like, oh, you don't want to buy anything. Anyway, and they oh. do it. this girl was, uh, girl, Janice, was so sweet. She just, oh, yeah. And so I went to the show. I gave the show with you yesterday. Yes. Went back, and they were all ready. And she all done? charged me $25 for five watches to open Boy, up she probably say, she didn't say... As you were leaving, don't tell anybody how much I charged you. She probably you. did. Forget that. Okay. Uh, no, I don't, there's no reason she would give me a special treatment. But it was very sweet of her. Brownlee's Jewelry. Folks, it's Valentine's. Valentine's is coming up. Do y'all celebrate Valentine's very much? Uh, uh, sure. Uh, sure. Yeah, 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 we do. Yeah. Very good no, answer. So, yeah, yeah. I don't we, know if Kay and I are. Love. I really don't. We seldom do. We've yeah. written every card you could possibly write. Anything is just made up fluff. Right. But in the past, we've written great stuff i think but uh, now oh gosh <laughs> flowers oh cindy they die they die they really do that's right you uh, that's a good point they die they, I don't wow brownie okay. jewelers i like it and by the way <laughs> make fun of sam man <laughs> yeah uh conroe <laughs> coffee house next door coffee uh uh is delicious and that's what i'm drinking today haven't man, had it in a while they Leo. are being discovered and People are they coming are. All, from all they around. Get many more, uh, she's going to have to hire a bunch of people. By the way, I went in there, and Leo, she's, it's a, she, she said, oh, I've, I caught your uh, uh, program about the Beatles. And she said it just, the Beatles. She's she British. did, yeah. yeah. And I said, please say that again. What, <laughs> what the Beatles? Well, she, I said, okay, Leo, all right. So, now I realized she wouldn't have been, I mean, I'm much older than she is, but that she wouldn't have been of an age to have been 
uh, caught up in the Beatlemania oh. stuff. So I quickly changed what I was getting ready to say because I realized that would have been a, a really big insult. But I said, okay, growing up, did you have any, uh, you know, feeling about how special where you were growing up was that the, that the Beatles came from here? She says, nope. She said, I liked, you know, uh, Donny Osmond. Donny Osmond. And I went, what? And I said, but you're, you were right here. You breathe the same air they breathe. It was just, and you don't feel that way about them. She says, no, not really. I have no feeling about them at all. Oh, so I said, okay, fabulous. And Sean Cassidy, you remember him? Yes, yes. Oh, beep, yeah. Give me a break. Yeah, yeah. Sean Cassidy Cliff was Richards came so from cute. England. He was very popular over there. Didn't hit it real big here, but boy, he was talented. Another British uh, Isle scout. But people don't understand what happened during that time. Um, when the, After they came out and how it took over our lives as teenagers, that's all we talked about. Now, were you big into the Beatles? Like, you were further east <laughs> in Pasadena. Yes. Did, did, did you, uh, did you no, have any feeling toward the Beatles? I was for uh, <laughs> Schwarzkopf's Oompa Band. They were one of... No. I I, 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 the Beatles, I, I, I liked uh, um, duos. Uh, the Everly Brothers, big into mm-hmm. them. And mm-hmm. the Please Lock Me Away. And don't, well, that was an English band. It was. Band. But the yeah. Beatles... No, then do it for you. I didn't. I want to hold you your like, hand. Give me a break. Dave Clark Five, you thought they were a little more manly. No. What about Rolling Stones? Did you Ooh. like them? No. You Jay and like- the Americans, I did. The only Rolling Stones song <laughs> I really <laughs> like is, If you star me up, boom, boom, star me up, I never stop, I never stop, I never. You know, Jared me. Starrett is standing outside the oh, window, and, I like Jared and he Starrett. is just going, he can I get this guy in my band to do backup of- singing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he is. Oh, so do you. No, no, we, um, I was so ate up with that. Can you imagine um, Mark what? on stage singing? Oh, my Oh, word. he would be like, Lord, he'd be the greatest Lord, entertainment Lord, ever. Lord. I would be Lord. loving it. The only yeah. reason I'd come is just to see the background singer. <laughs> I would have to, I'd have to wear a cat, catcher's mitt, a uh, mask, <laughs> and a mitt. <laughs> no, but I, he, he's going to be part of the hair band. Can you imagine yeah. him? Oh, gosh. We had a girls group called the Beatlets. Wow. And, that's uh, that's uh, original. I was John, and we lip synced the songs, and we dressed just like them, and we had our hair, you know, like them. And, um, and we played at the Shamrock Hilton. Shamrock. Do you remember the Shamrock? On yes. The, okay. We played the there Shamrock at The Shamrock Hilton Hotel? Yeah, they had an event, and they wanted... Uh, um, some of the people there celebrities had, like signing said, with cindy girl yeah like no i was nothing then i was i wanted to be john uh oh. no not that bad but uh i i really uh we had this group and we came out and it was i was the most nervous i'd ever been in my life and we li- were just lip syncing it wasn't like yeah. we, but people what are they got screws I mean, we were four girls playing the Beatles, oh, and it man. was it was so strange. And the and you had the reaction, bass guitar. Yeah, we had all the instruments, and we just they weren't plugged in. But we well, just no. we just did air air band for Neither probably the first air band, nineteen sixty. Chili peppers. That's true. Yeah, they were lip syncing as well. But it was it was so much fun. And then uh, uh, my friend and I went to a roller skate uh, roller skating place over in Pecan Park, and it was like full all the time, totally full. And we dressed up like um, in uh, in the English garb that we had made the clothes. Remember, I told you I made clothes that uh, we got the uh, designs for from England, and we made these clothes. And we walked in, and of course we talked like this, and was like, um, "I would like to have some uh, uh, some coffee, please." And, and uh, my, my mate here would like to have this, and if you would uh, wouldn't mind. And they go like, "Where are you from?" I said, "Oh, I'm from uh, from Liverpool, England." Liverpool, that's where the Beatles are from. You're from Liverpool. So this kid goes out and starts telling people, and they come over and they go, "You're from," Liverpool. and we just lied our behinds off. Well, almost off, but we uh, we just lie and just and because the more they, oh, yeah, the more we said, they it. kept coming in. They said, "Have you ever seen Paul? Seen Paul? Oh yes, he's a, a, a great mate of mine, and you, you you've seen Paul, right? Oh yeah, you that's right. You live next door to him, and so we did this whole thing, and. The kids kept coming in, and they started pressing in, and they were coming in, and they said, well, uh, and I said, uh, we, um, they were coming to town. Remember, they were going to come to Houston, and uh, we started saying that we were there to, uh, we were going to be there and meet them there and all that stuff, and it was just, they said, could you get us in, could you get us in, but they got so excited, and the kids just went 
crazy. The policeman from the skating rink had to come take us out of the place to to where Holy our car was mo- because of how they were getting so crazy. That's how bad it was then. Yeah. Is that that just that little spark went through the went through that whole crowd? Describe your. You said you wore British clothes. Well, they, they were like long black dresses, and they had uh, and, and just a lace collar and lace uh, big lace uh, arms. I, we okay. had to go back. We wore them to school, and we were sent home because it was causing too much disruption. Now you know you, you we had to also oh. you know you sat on the you had to kneel on the. Um, on a stool, and if you're dressed and hit the stool, you know, it was yeah, too short. We had to go home. So but this was, they were so long, but they were just, it, it was causing too much of uh, disruption. So we had to go home and change. I was so, I was so ate up with the Beatles. It was you ridiculous. You know, I'm getting that impression. Before we leave this uh, <laughs> c- completely, I, I wish you and my sister Jill could get together. She, we used to have talent shows, the haters, uh, we would, you yeah. know, for every event. She did a Tina Turner. She can move just like her, lip sync. You know, the other haters are trying to lip sync. They're idiots. But uh, it's a talent. just like her. It is a talent. It and is. you and her could do uh, <laughs> the Everly Brothers or anything. I mean, it was uh, really great. But when, but when they came to Houston at the Coliseum, mm-hmm. I think it was in 66? Uh, no, 64? Yeah, that's they what I They did 64? Read. Okay. Yeah. Well, um I went and we're sitting up. I mean, I didn't get close, but we were up there and tickets four dollars. I understand it was so expensive. We had to. I mean, it took a lot to get the money. But we're sitting there. They come on stage and the girls start screaming and never scream, never stop till they get off. I couldn't hear anything. I could just once in a while I could hear like a note I recognized, but I was like, "Shut up, everybody! Shut! I can't hear it." I was so mad. But that's how I went to the movie theater when their first movie came out, Hard Day's Night, and. They screamed through the movie in the movie theater. They screamed through the whole thing. You couldn't get away from it. Oh, so it was it was crazy you know, back then. I with remember Michael Jackson. They would show the audience, and there would be girls screaming, and there'd be guys screaming, and it scared me when I saw yes. that. Yes. By the yes, way, I was uh, in there in the Chronicle today. There's an article, uh, an interview with Ken Hoffman and Tommy Rowe, who was uh, uh, came up with songs like uh, "Sweet Pea." Oh, sweet pea, oh, won't you dance with me? Just a very deep. Uh, theme hmm. song yes. uh, and that dizzy lyrics. and we uh, Cindy and I had a conversation. One of his hits was Sheila, but we were talking about how uh, what's his name did Buddy Sheila? Holly. Buddy Holly. Well, maybe maybe it's a different. Who wrote it? Sheila. I, I don't know. They maybe didn't say. He wrote it. But he never did. Nobody did Sheila as good as what's his Tom, face. Yeah, Buddy Holly. No. Anyway, they had um, um, opening acts for the Beatles. The Beatles, I understand, poor, according to this, did 10 songs. Yeah. Poor, poor Tommy opening Rowe. act. They said <laughs> they did it in the wrestling ring. You know, at the Coliseum. Yes, they I was there. They stage, was... and he said that the canvas <laughs> could bounce up and down. <laughs> they would not allow his band on the stage because they already had the Beatles. Right, all uh, set Drums, up. Ringo, and all, and they didn't want his band to mess with anything. So his band was down on the floor playing, and he said he was up there doing that the righteous brothers were supposed to be there and he said i never even saw the righteous brothers no if they were or I, not why anybody and would try and jay, try for them in the americans that, that jay of jay and the americans had one of the best voices uh not as good as roy orbison but uh beautiful. what song what Only song did they do? in america land of opportunity hey. Can a poor boy grow up to be a... Um, um, okay cleaner. um oh hmm. and another one uh I just... solo oh Caramia, why oh, okay. must that, we I, say I remember that one. goodbye? Not exactly like that, but I remember that one. Our hearts, well, okay. <laughs> I remember anyway, those that. Things. Jay and the America. Jay and the Americas, wow. Anyway, the Beatles. And you were there. I was there. I was there. And and I really thought, I started thinking, I'm breathing the same air they're breathing. Now, that's sick. That, that is, is so sick. sick. But I didn't scream. I wasn't a screamer. Mm-hmm. I just sat there and I wanted to hear what they had to do, yeah. say. And uh, we couldn't hear anything. But it was cool. You know, with them, when they came over and people, you know, were making fun on the news and all, uh, and I, I, I was young and I didn't like people making fun of that. And so when they're interviewed, I Want them wanted them to say something really cool and cute, and it was real life, and they didn't ever come up. With, you know, they'd say st- something stupid, but oh, yeah. it wasn't like, oh, that's a very memorable line to say. No, I don't know. I just got some coffee. Okay. Couldn't you have come up with something better than that, Ringo? I mean, please. Really? Well, when John said, 
were more popular than Jesus. Oh, uh, that was, that not was it. That was it for me. That you know, and, and I see you know, how much I loved them. But when he said that, I thought, why you? And then he backpedaled on that and said, you know, we're just talking about popularity and that we shouldn't yeah. be more popular than them. But, well, in oh, England, brother. he really was. I mean, they really were. I mean, I can understand why they felt that way. Yeah. Certainly understand oh, exactly. why they felt that way. But, but you never come it. out of your mouth. Shut up. Yeah. So it was uh, it was great, though. They they really did revolutionize everything. Yeah, at it, that it point. wasn't it changed. nearly as bad as the Dixie Chicks, though. He said, <laughs> Jesus, the Dixie, Dixie Chicks said, I'm sorry, Bush is the president, and they were crucified. Can you imagine somebody going out and saying, I'm sorry, Obama's president? <sighs> People scream, hey, way to go. Things have For changed like so much. No one would care. Yeah. <laughs> it's yet today. Uh, that, uh, yeah, because of the Beatles. Yeah, yeah. MSNBC would have probably hired them. So yeah. it was it was okay. But but you can't Jeez. say that. That was silly. That was stupid no, on their part no. for doing it. But anyway. you, when you get to be a celebrity like that, I think they get such a big head. They feel like they can say anything, do anything. Like when they came out with one album, I thought, are they just doing this to show that it doesn't matter what they put out, that they could be, yeah. you know, what it could be bought. Because... Because, you know, it, their first songs were so innocent and so, yeah. you know, they were very simple. When when people try and redo, redo them and try and make something out of them, because they're just very simple. Yeah. It was just their voices and the way they did them, and no one could, like, reproduce that. But they get to thinking because of, uh, and I think one thing is, is being yelled the, through the whole concert. Like, why are we doing this? And I saw a concert they did where you could hear them. You could hear the scream in the background, but of course mm-hmm. you could hear what they were saying and stuff. And they were horrible. I mean, they they missed they missed stuff. They slurred through the words and, and all that. It and didn't matter. No, it didn't matter. They you knew it. Hear. Yeah, they didn't. Britney they Spears. Knew it. They did something like that with her. Just you know, she's singing and and all, and they just taped her voice. It was pretty frightening. But uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> she talking sounds about like some... how it could go to your head when you see some of the Michael Jackson concerts from mm-hmm. way back when and those people, and ACDC. They've got this concert they did in Rio de Janeiro, I think. Uh, and son of a gun, Cindy, it's in this stadium. Thousands of people, and they're swaying, and it's like an ocean. And they're up there singing it. And they all know the words, even though they speak uh, port- Portuguese. <laughs> you know, right now, we're going to continue speaking <laughs> English and Beatle talk. But uh, well, we do, Cindy, have kinda. to take a, a yes. momentary, a momentary uh, break. There they are. We'll be back directly. And they're prime. Hi, this is Erica Tullis, Executive Director of the Breast Cancer Charities of America. The Breast Cancer Charities of America is a national nonprofit organization with our headquarters in the Woodlands, Texas. We focus on non-invasive breast cancer research and helping the true patient that is going through breast cancer. Through our Help Now Fund, we help women pay the rent and utilities while going through their breast cancer treatment. It's unlike any other program that truly is out there. We are here to help the woman. Our phone number is 936-231-8460. For more information or to get involved or to even make a donation, please visit our website, www.igopink.org. It takes something special to make it in the business world. Montgomery County is fortunate to have a diverse pool of industries and businesses. Join me, Cassandra Roshan, Director of Membership Development with the Greater Conroe, Lake Conroe Area Chamber of Commerce for Mind Your Business. I will sit down with our chamber members to talk history, community involvement, and get some tips of the trade on how to be successful in our current business environment. Tune in on the third Tuesday of each month at 11 a.m. to hear from our members of the Greater Conroe, Lake Conroe Area Chamber of Commerce talk about their professional experiences. I guarantee you will walk away with insight of how to mind your business. Hey, y'all. Grab your boots and hats on February 22nd. It's time for the 49th Annual Go Texan Parade at 1 p.m. in downtown Conroe. This year's parade theme, Salute to Our Scholars, will feature entries from local schools, businesses, nonprofit organizations, and political candidates. So join us at 1 p.m. in downtown Conroe on February 22nd for the 49th annual Go Texan Parade. Cindy. 
Oh, so yeah. We've had yes. so many callers wanting to know about the earlobe thing and the ears. And oh, you, all. that I've you got teased to, with? Yeah, you've yes, got Yes, I teased with yeah, Cindy. Got got I've got to quit teasing. And, uh, you were listening. Y'all are, sticking, y'all are sticking to the tease word. Like, I'll tease it and y'all never ever talk about yeah, it. Yeah, that's, that's right. <laughs> People are still out there. Well, Maybe why? our definition yeah. of when we actually say the thing we're teased for is our own definition right. of it. But why are three-legged horses faster than four-legged? You never uh, explained that, Mark. But I feel like that when I watch the, the talk shows, they'll end with the, you know, the cliffhanger and say uh da 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 but then they still won't talk about when they come right back yeah that just aggravates me but you're listening to the mark and cindy show which is so, so unaggravating it is yes no it's this a- is just a calm way to start your day and to get on a, the right foot right right right, right. Cindy, you know right. how uh the over right time foot. Uh, the things that you said about people or made fun about people, and I'm talking not about you, about me, comes back and bites you right in the butt. I'm sorry, the buns. Who bit you in the... Well, there was a movie uh, called The Candidate with Robert Redford. Yes. And uh, in it was a guy named Kenneth Toby. He played in The Whirly Birds. He played in The Thing. And he was older in The Candidate. And they showed a scene, and here I am showing The Candidate to one of my government classes. And they show Toby, and he's older. You know this guy. He's a character actor. Think of the thing in the guy who was in. Ladies and gentlemen, we've had an interruption in our recording, and the fault did not lie with your computer. It was Dick Schishler's fault. So we wanted to make sure we gave credit to where credit is due. So we're making up that time right now and reminding everybody of events that are coming up. Mark, What's happening? You know, Cindy, your, your voice was very good with that. I got. A, I thought we were having a nuclear attack or something. <laughs> uh, yes, the and I get the first one. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, this Thursday. I don't know if you know it, but t- today is Tuesday for us. And yes. The day after tomorrow is Thursday, and there's going to be a membership lunch uh, um, luncheon for candidates at the uh, North Montgomery County Community, Community Center. Center. It's and in Willis. A forum. It's in Willis. Yeah, a forum means it's where you can jump on There's the trampoline four, um, five, four um, of them four yeah. that are going to be great talking. thing it's going to be yes. fascinating you and i are going to be there 10 to 11 and then right afterwards they're they're, they're going to have their the thing and, and thing, we are forum. we are recording it live here uh on lone star but uh they you notice they did use our show to come after oh, so man they're bring the biggest audience so into them that was so nice that. that was nice It'll of them cool. and uh you'll get to hear uh the judges the commissioners and the justice of the peace Say their wow. piece about why they they feel like they yeah. need to be chosen. Yeah, you know something. County commissioners will be there, and by the way, county commissioners, uh, judges, county judges, not commissioners, county judges. They don't judge. They're really uh, part of the executive. They have to handle things in the county, and a lot of people don't know that. You think you're voting for someone that's going to say guilty, but they don't do oh, that. Oh, okay. I'm glad yeah. you said that. Isn't that I, you're the social studies teacher, oh, so yeah. that's good. But also, we're having a parade on the 22nd. Woo-hoo! Everybody needs to remember to uh, come downtown in Conroe. The beautiful, oh, so beautiful, gorgeous, beautiful. so it is. it is just it, it's just a beautiful downtown, and uh, and so cool. It's just a cool looking place, and you'll go like, I love this. This is very cool. That's a Saturday. I hate to use that word too much, Not but this it is Saturday, cool. the following Saturday, and we have to work on Saturday. Yeah, on a Saturday. That's and not fair. You get paid bigger bucks when you do that. Oh, stuff. that's right. It's a um, anyway, and we have to shovel. Dick got us a gig to shovel the horse uh, manure after the parade. So that's the only way we great. got in. Are you kidding? Yeah. yeah. That's what. Great. And get out of showbiz but anyway so we're going to we're going to be here live on the 22nd so come to 208 north main so that you can see us and uh, and we want to talk to you and uh, then all up and down the street we'll have the parade but uh, stop by our place and then you can go next door to the conroe coffee and have some coffee and while you're waiting jewelers. for the uh, and don't forget <laughs> once again <laughs> thursday join us at the community north uh, montgomery county community center in willis or close get to willis, involved west side of the road of willis yeah, and, yeah you involved. can't miss it i mean there's not many community centers there it's only one mm-hmm. so you'll you'll see it uh, there's a 50 foot sti- uh, high statue of davy crockett there I made that part up, Cindy, but they'll so find it. You are so lying. Dick's giving us the, he's cutting our throats right now. No, I've, you cut the mic, you cut, cut the, the mic. <laughs> oh, I cut, cut the my mic. mic 30 minutes ago. No, okay. no, he, no, he hasn't. Uh, but we are winding down, and uh, we will uh, join our regularly scheduled program yeah. live in progress. Yeah, so stay the, with us, and uh, we will be right back. It's Margaret and her fighting kittens. It is a heck of a show. Oh, I need- Please don't do that again. <laughs> you know, but you know, why didn't you send her to hell? I don't know. I don't That's 
I can't it's, believe she did that. Yeah. I just can't but believe she that she is. Uh, uh, occasionally, but once you I go to that pain of having that done, you need to oh, show man. people. People need to see it. You well. went to the pain of of doing that, and they won't let you wear probably the crop type of no, shirt probably not. at school. So she's got to pull up her shirt. Oh, uh, they they let they forced it. They it's don't the let you. it's the rules for the school that caused that. Okay, what? My age, Cindy. It's so bad when I see somebody with a ring in their uh, lip. A that hurts thud in me. their tongue or in their nose. Okay, I'm, in their nose. How do you blow your nose at that I point? Don't I don't. I don't. I don't get that. That's just strange to and me. Again, it's one of those things where do I really want to attract attention to my nose? I don't want to, Cindy. Please don't. Don't look at. Don't look at my face. Don't look at the man behind the screen. Oh, that reminds terrible. me of Shirley Temple. She's dead. Mark, that's not how you're supposed to transition know, to something that like that. Right. But we do need to remind people, speaking of Shirley Temple, I don't know, or that, that uh, February 22nd, we're going to have a parade coming right down, wow. right down Main Street here, and we need, for the rodeo, oh, yeah. and we are going to be here, uh, we're going to be uh, playing songs and talking to people, and right? they're handing me a shovel. And now we too. know. Now we know how to go out and talk to people since we did our uh, oh, Cindy, our remote. Did great, she I can do a remote now. Dumpster across the street. She I went did everywhere. Don't forget this, this Thursday. And this Thursday we're and this Thursday in Willis at the community center, the new one over there on the new loop. Or Finally, whatever. I'll be on time because yeah. you're just down the street from me. Well, we're not going to be interviewing politicians, are we? It's going to be a county judge and stuff. It's, it's the it's, North Montgomery County Community Center in Willis, Texas, that are doing the, the forum for the candidates of Montgomery County Judge, County Commissioner of Precinct 2 and 4, Justice of the Peace 1 and 3. Okay, and Cindy's going to come up with a lot of political questions because she knows stuff that... Will well, I know no, uh, Doris I Goldman is the only woman running for judge. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and um, I should I should go in there real quick. It's like, I'm running too. Yeah, <laughs> that would help. Yeah. <laughs> I said, you just stop we running a- altogether. But Doris Goldman uh, goes to... Uh, Grace Crossing, mm-hmm. and uh, Scott Goldman, uh, her husband, who is multi-talented, just amazing, and was in the political world. He can world. yodel and juggle. No, at the he can make brisket like nobody oh, can make can. brisket. Yeah. I mean, it, it is the it, it should be next to the word right. in the dictionary. There's oh, and he's <laughs> fed it is thousands so, in yes. this county, and he, he does, does it. That's right, stuff. and he does it for free for so many people, and raised a lot of money for amazing, you know, projects and stuff. So um, now I don't know if that would qualify her more for, as a judge because he Got does it. that. But he, they're very community oriented and mm-hmm. minded, and uh, and she is a friend of mine. I know she'd be fair, yeah. and she doesn't have as much money to throw around as some of right. the other candidates have been able to raise so far. That's so. right. That makes it tough. But when you come across her name in the ballot, think about, uh, number one, uh, wherever she goes, her husband could come along. And, <laughs> and make, make you some barbecue. Brisket. But know that she is extremely brilliant and fair. And she was, ahead of, she was head of the uh, food bank for a long time. Oh, so she was. She, yeah. Right. And, uh, and came up with some very innovative uh, things there. I'd love to talk to her. I'd love to do an interview with her. Um, Cindy, something that else that uh, I keep trying to remind you of, and I don't know where to go with it. I think we need to drag Dick's rear in on this, is mm-hmm. the movie review so much coming out and you and i are not yes. going to see see we should have well, <sighs> brought your grandkids to see legos that was a good thing but there's movies coming out we need to see and we need to tell the children i mean the people out there in radio land and computer land well, so what is that, coming up friday what's coming what do we want, need to talk about it on thursday when's noah coming up that's out. that's in march i think okay i think it's coming in march but okay. did you see that you saw the trailer right yes amazing right? that is a one heck of a flood ladies and gentlemen and there's I, a movie called son of god coming out no seriously cindy don't say that really there is there is oh okay I did there's not a trailer know. uh go to fandango, fandango fandango and there's a they've got the trailer of that coming out oh it's probably a motorcycle movie no uh, they're, they're no 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 up. it's a re no it's a it looks it looks really hmm. good interesting but he's white and he has uh uh curly wavy hair and uh, he doesn't look like, uh, you know, like what you've seen people, uh, you know, they've done a re- recreation of what they thought he oh, should yeah. look like at that time From and all the, that. Uh, Shroud of Turin stuff. Right, 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 right. Oh. They, they, well, have, you know, they haven't gone Robo there Cop yet. RoboCop comes out. Robo- oh, Robo- that's Cop. exactly right. What Robo- a segue Cop. from Christ yeah, son of God, to RoboCop. Yeah. Well, I'm just making sure you guys talk about that. Yeah. Who wants to, see, to go see RoboCop? I can't wait to see I don't want to see it. See, oh, I do. Use your public, uh, PG-13. publication stuff to get us into the movie while they're previewing stuff. Yeah, you might be able to 
to do that. Yeah. You, I know. Want, you want me to do that for you, Mark? Yes. Will you stop complaining Wait, to me about Cindy. other things? Uh, no. I mean, I. Because every day you're a Debbie Downer for me. I'm a Debbie Downer. Did Mark, where are you doing such and such? Did you oh, see how he. He has, he has he, a beautiful face and he's just upset all the time. That's yeah. right. He comes in looking like a cherub and first thing he does yeah. is. Uh, is uh, Tell Richard he. Uh, I'm not going to say the words because well, the first he can't thing say I that. about knocked anyway. that chair through the yeah, window when you, I opened the door. Yeah, you just. Uh, but you're you're better now, and, oh, and yeah, see, so look, little now. Richard's it's face scary. looks better, and he looks more yeah, happy it, because for three he minutes, was like, "I'm not turning this guy's mic on today. That's we, it from him." What we'll do, Mark, if we can do it for Friday, we all we're going to see is all the love movies together. Oh, yes, gosh. and so when people okay. see us, when people see us together. <laughs> that would put me in entirely like, different. <laughs> we're going to go see mind. about last night, right? And then we're going to do a feature with endless love. Endless and then, love. Wait a minute. And then <laughs> the Bronson James uh, Winter's Tale. Ooh, Winter's Tale. Tale. That's the that looks like the ultimate chick flick. Ultimate date. Ultimate chick Mark Hader and Dick Schisler. Came out just in time for Valentine's Day. Watch out, Kay. Yeah. She said, hey, he shaved his beard. I don't care what you do. No, she wasn't. She was, last night she rubbed my cheek and said, I have not felt that a cheek, and I don't know when. And now it needs shaved because it's very coarse and, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, so many exciting things. And, uh, by the way, I, I have got an encouraging word after these few words that is going to tie in a bunch of stuff. Okay, but not your and, then I, and then I do have something that where we're going to be performing that we want okay. we'll talk about. Wow. Yeah, I need to know this. Tri-County Services provides services to children and adults with mental illnesses, substance abuse disorders, and intellectual developmental disabilities in Montgomery, Liberty, and Walker Counties. Offices are located in Conroe, Cleveland, Liberty, and Huntsville. Some mental health services offer focus on resilience and recovery. Services and supports for individuals with intellectual development disabilities focus on skill development and independence. Tri-County Services offers 24-7 crisis intervention and evaluation with Crisis Hotline 1-800-659-6994 and their mobile crisis outreach team psychiatric crisis treatment is available at psychiatric emergency treatment center in conroe substance abuse services include treatment for both youth and adults substance abuse prevention class are also provided for younger children and teenagers peer support services for veterans are also offered by tri-county services for more information about all programs provided by tri-county services call 936-521-6100 or visit our website at www.tricountyservices.org Hello, I'm Bonita DeRosa, Animal Control Officer for the City of Willis. We invite you to tune in to Lone Star Internet Radio every first and third Thursday of the month at 11 a.m. for the Willis Hour. On the first Thursday of the month, the Willis Hour will be covering upcoming events and news about the city. Join in the conversation with your city officials and other leaders in the community. On the third, we will be doing a recap of the last city council meeting. The mission of the City of Willis is to provide high quality services, accountability, and professional commitment to our citizens. We pledge to provide those who live, work, and visit our city an effective government that is open and responsive to the needs and values of the community. Again, we invite you to tune in on Lone Star Internet Radio every first and third Thursday of the month at 11 for the Willis Hour. Income tax time is here. If you earned less than $52,000 in 2013, Montgomery County United Way and Entergy Texas want you to know how to get your taxes prepared absolutely free. Beginning February 1st, the Volunteer Income Tax Assistance Program, known as VITA, will provide professionally trained volunteers to prepare your return in a way that is safe, free and confidential. And they will help you see if you qualify for the earned income tax credit. That could mean up to $6,000 in your pocket and in our community. Montgomery County United Way improves lives of all our residents by mobilizing the caring power of our community. We want all our neighbors to have the opportunity to live healthy lifestyles, have access to education, and to improve your financial independence. This tax season, don't pay hundreds of dollars to have your taxes done. Locate a VITA site in Montgomery County by logging on to mcuw.org or find a site near where you live or work by calling 211. 
And please remember, give, advocate, and volunteer. Together, that is how we improve lives and live united. Oh yeah, yes, yes, that, that song has a double meaning and I never knew it. I thought that was the, you know, like, I didn't even, I guess I didn't even think about what the words meant at all and tried to analyze what they were trying to say. And then you grow up and you go like, oops, yeah. what I was singing about, I you didn't know, know. Cindy, back then, I didn't even, even if you'd have told me what it was about, I wouldn't have known. Understood. Was, what, are, what are you talking about? I, I, well, that's not the way it worked. Anyway, I, no, I wouldn't I was have so either. Naive, it's scary. Oh, Mark. Now you said something else uh, is happening that uh, I need to take a note of what we're doing. We're February twenty second. Twenty second. We're going to be at uh, Grace Crossing, the Chili Cookoff that's going to happen there, cook-off. and we are emceeing that. So you're double timing on double 22nd. timing, yeah. Yeah. That's okay, after. We'll give you a third of whatever we make. That's on this after. Thing. Yeah, that's <laughs> the right. The heart that's burn after included. the the parade. But we're going to be telling you more about that because uh, you can come on in to that uh, chili cook-off and get some Five bucks. good chili. Eat. Yeah, so cheap and mm. a lot of entertainment for the kids. And yeah. so it'll be it'll be a lot of fun. And they're doing the karaoke thing and uh, a country karaoke. And if you've listened to the station, you'll be like right there ready to do it I and didn't win know it. That. Yes. I hope they have I'm glad you came to the show it. and listened to the yeah. show. I, I know. If, I, I hate to be the only one singing there. I don't know any country songs, and so I'll be the Would only you? one singing. But um, I could do Poncho and Lifty. Poncho was a bandit boy. Okay, His okay. All right, I may have a chance to still. win this. Okay. What does that mean? Horse was fast, probably, so he kept his gun inside his pants so all the honest world could see. I don't know. Anyway, go ahead. You don't you understand that? No, I don't. I mean, you know when cowboys had their guns? <laughs> yeah. Inside his pants. Though. Yeah, like like okay. this. So when you rolled so up Poncho, on, in the town, you, if your gun was shown, that means you're, you're a killer. You know, I thought it would be better uh, if it was in people. a holster than in his pants. I've tried to keep a gun in my pants, Cindy, and it is not easy. Okay, let's just move along here. That, you? Not everyone had firearms back no, then. No, no, not everybody. That's true. You and Don Knotts. Okay, so... Anyway, we're, we're going to do that, and that's the evening of the uh, parade. We're going to be at the parade first. We're going to do the parade first as the, you know, and comment on that and talk to people. And then that night we'll do the chili cook-off. Okay. So I just, <laughs> just want to let you know that. Done. And then the 20th is when Jared is going to be at the, I say this slowly because it's Richard. Dose Dose. Dose. Dose Music Cafe, 8 o'clock. On the 20th, correct? Yes. Okay. And uh, we just confirmed that we'll be uh, uh, introducing him. Well, not mm. really confirmed all the way yet. But uh, more importantly, he'll be in, on your show. Yeah, he'll be on the yeah. show. On the 18th. I, okay, it was more important that we're introducing him. But, you know, he's going to be on our show. And we're going to talk to him about what he and Lisa did on Valentine's Day. <clears throat> and then we're going to um, we're gonna talk about him playing and how we're going to introduce him. Won't that be fun well, to introduce him? Oh, and, yeah, and be especially like about what he and his, his warm up act did on her, Lisa did on her. <laughs> By the way, <laughs> speaking of encouraging words, Cindy. Right, uh, I'm sorry. I tell you, I, uh, my whole life, like when I first, uh, when I was working my way through college, I worked in this factory of making pipe insulation coatings, adhesives that we had asbestos. Mm. It was a terrible job. Yeah. But the deal is, I'm working during the day and at night, I lie down in bed. Sometimes I lay. And I'm thinking of the job. And when I sleep, I am on that line doing that. When I'm teaching, I'm teaching, you know, in class. And then you dream night, about teaching? I dream about it. In other words, I'm doing that thing the whole time. I got this part in this play I'm telling you about. Last night, I had trouble sleeping. And when I slept, I was in the play. I couldn't remember mm. my lines. It was terrible. And this morning, I wake up and I read this uh, devotional that... You know, I've read it many times, this deal, and it it, it just speaks to me. And, and I'm reading also here in uh, James, and it says uh, uh, so many things. You know, resist the devil, he'll f- flee from you. But uh, also it says draw near to God, and he'll draw near to you. Yes. That's either, once again, a big lie, it means nothing, or Mark, it means something. How many times have I, you know, hey, draw near to me, and I don't sense it, you know, well, God's not a sense. He's an all-powerful being, and it's my faith that, that uh, it should believe that. And then I read this. It says, 
Learn to associate ideas worthy of God with all that happens, even in nature. You know, the sunrise, sunset, sun and stars, the changing season. Your imagination will never be at the mercy of your impulses, but will always be at the service of God. At night, this key word in this is learn. If I realize, like yesterday I was telling you, you know, if I watch Sons of Anarchy and go to bed, oh, my mind is terrible, my dreams are terrible. What I need to do is learn that when I'm in bed to think, you know, imagine heaven, imagine right. anything that uh, is God related, whatever is pure, noble, That's holy. Right. Think of these. I know that. You know that. All God's children know that. And yet, we don't I've got know to I. learn to do it. My, why does a person like me want to spend the your, your waking time and your sleeping time worrying about stuff? And that's when I go to bed and that's on my mind and I just keeps doing it over and I say, I can't stop, I can't stop. Well, I need to learn, I need to teach myself. Right. You know, uh, it, it's it's that way in life, in anything. Like if you're, you mentioned a, a while back about when you're dating someone and you're in love, that's on my mind, you know, mm -hmm. and, and you're in bed and you're thinking, oh my gosh, this is wonderful, you know, what I've got uh, going for me here. Why can't I take a little of that and try to make it grow with respect to God at night? Draw near to him, he'll draw near to you. My, my, he uh, said, honor God and he will honor you. Uh, humble yourself before God and he'll exalt you. These things are all just uh, either words or they mean something. If I can put that in my mind more, can you imagine going to bed with, you know, heaven or God Those on my mind? Those kind the of thoughts, The dreams right? that might come that are not coming. <laughs> now right uh, well, like poor little cindy you know I have to, at night when we pray i have mm -hmm. to say please dear god don't let her dream because she's afraid of dreams and but if it's like filling your mind up and he's trying to i guess explain to us without being too technical about it if you will download more good things when you uh when you push play or rewind or anything else like that it's going to be good stuff not the bad stuff right. and i think that uh that's hard for us to think about because we talk about bad things or we talk about scary things and we scare ourselves and, and all but to really to really concentrate on thinking on really good things happy times and all that when yeah. trying to put the kids to sleep you, you talk about all the happy things and happy things and let them go to sleep like that but we don't do it ourselves right and I, I realize this is so naive Mark you're so uh, gullible I understand people you know five terms in Afghanistan or Iraq this is a mental situation you need help you can pray and all and god will tell you you need to go get some help well sure but yeah. god will definitely help as much as he can lead lead you in the way but see i don't suffer from that i my life has been very sheltered i've been very blessed and yet still the little things just in my mind oh what if i make a fool of myself out there and i'm worried 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 ridiculous i That's hate hate that that's true. And I'll just agree that's ridiculous. Very good. Thank you, Cindy. <laughs> but we all do uh, that, Mark. You're not yeah. the only one, so you got to remember right. that. And uh, and listen, we will be back here tomorrow. Oh, we're sure. coming back tomorrow. Oh, yeah, yeah that's we're coming Wednesday. back tomorrow. Sheesh. And, uh, this dead and you're young going to, Dick radio you're show to have a good time with us, and we'll get you started off right for your day, won't we? We yes, will. Yes, we will. It'll be great. And uh, you're listening to us, Mark and Cindy. That's right. Mark and Cindy. Mark and Cindy on uh, Interstate. Interstate, 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 71. Okay, oh, Lone Star Internet Radio. And remember, guys, smile, have a good time today, and that God loves you, and God's got this, Mark. He's got it. It's okay. On radio, 10 to 11 a.m. Well, it's Mark and Cindy, they've got a morning show. Hey, everyone, this is Tina, your host from Retro Saturdays. I wanted to invite you to visit the Lone Star Studios here in downtown Conroe, Texas. We're all volunteers here, and we need your help in serving the Montgomery County area. Radio media is a fun field to be in. Lone Star Internet Radio serves Montgomery County with news, current events, local programming, and, of course, music. If you are interested in volunteering and sharing your talents in media, go to IRLoneStore.com and let us hear from you. Lone Star Internet Radio, serving Montgomery County from the heart of downtown Conroe.